hello good morning welcome back today's saturday and i spontaneously decided last weekend to join the gym and i haven't been since i joined so today i'm getting back it's been like well over a year since i was in the gym last and i'm riddled with anxiety i don't know what it is about going back to the gym like i know it's had a refurb since i've been so it's kind of like getting used to where everything is again and yeah i'm just a nervous wreck but i just need to go for it and go with it so it's about it's 10 past 8 right now so i'm aiming to get there for 20 past 8 if i shut up but um yeah i just thought i would show you like tell you that i'm going back to the gym and i feel like i needed to talk on here just to kind of give me that little bit of boost of confidence i don't know why I feel like it makes it a little bit easier maybe probably won't um but yeah i'm just planning on going in and doing a bit of cardio today because i'm i don't know i feel like that's the best way isn't it when you go to a gym to kind of like suss everything out if it's not too busy i might just do some free weights and do like a little lower body session or something like that but i don't really want to be in pain tomorrow and i don't want to overdo it if i haven't been doing anything for the longest time so yeah I just thought I would tell you that I'm off to the gym and it's kind of scary but um if anyone else struggle with gym anxiety let me know like is it gonna be a regular thing I'm kind of hoping it's just the first time back and then I'm fine because I really want to go more frequently um so yeah I just thought I would vlog today anyway so you can spend the day with me I've dropped Michael to the airport this morning because he's gone over to England to a football match so I'm on my own for the day my mum might the dogs at the door i just locked them out for a second just because otherwise you hear their feet walking around it's really irritating when i'm like editing back because i can't hear what i'm saying and um, but yeah i'm gonna probably meet up with my mom later on and just get shit done basically um no major plans there's like stuff around the house that i've been like itching to do i was kind of planning on doing a little makeover on our bedroom but oh, i don't know the spiders everywhere that i'm kind of like oh, i'm a bit freaked out in the house and um, because i keep finding the spider like in different places and i feel like once one's gone there's another one i'm like i can't cope with this but yeah i feel like i'm literally just gibbering on because i'm trying to like prolong going to the gym but yeah i'm gonna force myself to go now and um, have my new little apple ipods um to bring with me so hopefully these work i feel like they're gonna fall out my ears but we shall see how they get on they're only 35 euro which i think is a bargain and yeah i'm gonna get my keys and go and sort the dogs out and stuff because i need to make sure that they're in the kitchen and all that so yeah i will catch up with you when i'm back i'm back i feel like i look really flustered um it went well i was happy enough when i got there my scan with my scanning code obviously didn't work so that was a bit awkward because then i'm like oh yeah i've just signed back up blah blah, blah. I hate all that stuff and there's like three girls at the reception but anyway um did a 5k on the treadmill, incline, then lowered it, and then did a little bit in the end that I just couldn't cope with the incline. Well, actually, I think that was on like two. Um, but I did a 5k and I burned five, no, how many calories did I burn? Let me just check. I burned 453 calories, which I think is pretty good. Um, I was kind of just aiming for the, I don't know what I was aiming for at first. I was gonna do like 10 minutes and then do a little lower body workout, but there wasn't really an area that was free where I'd kind of like want to hide away. Um, so I just kept going with the treadmill and was like, right, you know, this is your chance to suss everything out. So I just kept going and I did a 5K on the treadmill. And then afterwards I went down just to like suss out the changing rooms because I've actually never been in the changing rooms before, but I do want to start going before and maybe after work. So I need somewhere to like get showered and get ready and stuff. And there, I was actually so impressed, so yeah feel like it's gonna be a good like insight to what it's gonna be like going and yeah i feel like like happy that i've gone now because i've been up since like half five this morning and i feel like oh my god i've burnt like about many calories i've already done like seven thousand nearly eight thousand steps and it's only like what time is it it's only 10 to 10 so i'm feeling good about that like i feel like this is what happens isn't it, it just kind of squares you on a little bit um but yeah i stopped into I stopped into deals on the way out because I needed a drink. I didn't bring a drink of water. I need to get like a water bottle. So that's my task for today is to pick up a decent water bottle to bring to the gym. Um, I also got these lunch boxes. Just if I wanted to do any meal prep, I can just put it into this. I'm thinking more of like days that I'm going to work and stuff. If I don't want a sandwich, because I'm kind of getting bored of like the little packed lunches that I'm bringing. Um, and yeah, I just tried the Valley Gown. This is mango and passion fruit. More passion, more passion. Anyways, um, it's actually really nice it's not like too strong you know when things are like peach flavored you feel like it overpowers it it doesn't it's just a nice little hint and it's sugar free which is good which i would hope so it wore but anyway so yeah my plan now is i'm gonna make some breakfast i need to whisper it because the dogs are there looking at me beady eyes breakfast the word that's a favorite word in the house 
Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna bring them out for a WALK, just a little 10, 15, well, 15, 20 minutes, um, do a little loop round where we live and then I'm gonna get showered and get ready for the day and then I think I'm gonna meet my mum later. She's actually in the hairdress, well, I think she's in the hairdress at 10, so she should be out about 12. So around lunchtime, I'm probably gonna meet her. I don't know when I have to drive again. I'm just kind of like overdriving today. I feel like I'm not stopped. Um, it takes 10 minutes to the gym and 10 minutes back. And then obviously it takes 40 minutes to the airport, which Michael drove this morning. And then I drove back, which wasn't too bad, I suppose. But I have to do that later. And I'm just kind of like, oh, where really do I have to drive? And I filled my car up with 50 euro petrol. And now I feel like it's all gone. I only did that last, when was it? Wednesday and now it's just gone and I never fill up with 50 euro petrol. It's usually like 20 euro here there, maybe 30 if it's lucky. Um, but yeah, I really am just waffling on. I don't know what I want to eat. I don't really want like eggs or anything like that. I just feel a bit, I probably should have ate something before I went, but because it was so early, I just wasn't in the mood for eating and I had a coffee. So I don't know what I'm going to make to eat. I'm going to have a look. I think of porridge, but I'm not feeling porridge either. I'm not feeling anything warm. I'm kind of too hot for that. So while I'm deciding what I'm going to have, I'm going to have one of these strawberry yogurt drinks. These are from Tesco. Um, I think they're good for your immune system. I feel like I'm always sick. I don't know why, like I feel like I was sick two weeks ago, then I had a week off, and now I feel like I'm getting something again. <gasps> oh great, it's just spilled all over the floor, hold on. Anyway, I'm gonna drink this. Probably should have shook it before I opened it. Um, I'm gonna drink this, sit down and relax for about 15 minutes, and then I'll get ready to bring them out, because I feel like I need to do that before I get dressed. There's no point like going out when I'm sweating. I feel like I need to show out. I don't know. I'll catch up with you anyway when I'm ready and going out or whatever. When we're doing stuff for the day. Look at that. I feel like my chin is really white. Why is that? Oh God, I went out the house looking like that. that kind of concerns me. I don't know. Anyway, who cares? Breakfast, I'm going to have these quick golden syrup oats. These are per serving 154 calories and it's like i said the golden syrup flavor which i just find is perfect for me because i like to have a little bit of a flavored porridge i don't really like the standard porridge but anyway yeah these come in the little 10 sachets and we take two minutes in the microwave so i've already put it into a bowl and um, i'll just show you, show you what the sachet looks like so it comes like this and then you tear off the top and then there's a line a fill line in the top that you fill the milk up to pop it in and then mix it in and put it in the microwave so Here's one I prepared earlier. I'm just leaving this to set for a minute and I'm gonna give it a little stir. And um, we get a spoon. Okay, so just gave it a quick stir and I'm gonna add some blueberries and some honey and I'll show you what it looks like once I've made that. Okay, so here's my breakfast. Some golden syrup porridge with blueberries and I have just popped a little bit of honey on top as well just to give it an extra little bit of sweetness because that is what I like. So yeah, I'm gonna mix all this in. I'm gonna go eat this now and chill out for a bit and I will catch up with you around lunchtime. So I'm home now and it's actually at five o'clock. I can't believe the time went by so fast. Whilst I was out with my mum, she just wanted to look around charity shops and stuff like that. And I don't mind going for a rummage. Did not like anything myself, but she found a blazer from Marks and Spencer's for six euro, which I thought was really good. Um, but yeah, I don't know <laughs> if it's gonna be something that I'm gonna be doing myself now going to these charity shops, but I suppose it was something different to do. And I went into pennies then afterwards, of course I went into pennies. Like when do I not go into pennies? Just got a little bag here. And I picked up these heatless curlers. So I'm gonna get this to go now and hopefully it'll look okay. I want to just try out and see if it'll work on my hair. And I didn't want to invest in like a more expensive one. So yeah, I'm gonna get this to go now before I have to collect Michael later. So I'll show you once again. I'm not gonna record it because that's probably gonna be really boring. I know that you've seen like a million and one tutorials on heatless curls. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a go and see how I get on. So I feel like I already know this is gonna be a fail because this side is not even to that side, but we shall see how it gets on. I just put a little bit of hairspray on them as well, just to, I don't know, I've seen a girl do that and I feel like hers came out really well. So I've tried a little bit of hairspray on there afterwards. So I'm picking my glove about, I don't know, his flight's probably gonna be delayed. But I'm gonna leave this on as long as possible and I will show you the results hopefully once they're out. But yeah, we shall see in a little while, I suppose, what they look like. I realized the last time I was on here that I forgot to show you my heatless curls in the end because basically they turned out like an absolute fail. Don't know whether it's the material on those ones from pennies that they just kind of like slide down so i want to invest in a better one so if anyone has a one that they recommend that they use that they find doesn't like slip and it can hold the curl then please let me know 
something that's not too expensive obviously I don't think they are anyway but like it would just be handy to know because if it would work like it did stay in a little bit but it dropped out on one side when I put them in whereas if it did stay in on the one side it would look really good so I reckon it would work really well if we could do it on both sides so yeah that is just a little update on that it's currently half eight no sorry half six on a Wednesday evening and Michael's just gone to the shop because we've no food in the house and we need to get something to eat because I'm starving Um, I've been to the gym twice this week you would have seen on the Saturday I went and then I went on Monday too and Monday evening I just went and did a little not a little walk I did like a 5k on the treadmill um, on an incline so yeah I was happy about that Yesterday I didn't go because I just wasn't feeling it. Today I'm not going to go because I'm not feeling it again because I've been in work all day. And tomorrow morning I'm going to go before I start work. So yeah, that's my plan of action for this week. I do actually go away on Friday. So I'm going over to Manchester on Friday, which I'm so excited about. Um, I haven't been to Manchester in the longest time, which is absolutely disgraceful considering like my family lived there and I'm from there originally. And one of my best friends lives there too, who's having a baby and I'm so excited to see her before she gives birth. Um, I obviously want to go over again at some point when she does have her little boy but yeah in the meantime I want to go see her which is really exciting I can't believe it. This angle is not the most flattering and the lighting is really bad like I'm finding it really hard to pick the camera up when it's like winter now even though it's autumn but like it's just not doing me any favours. Um, so yeah I just thought I would for this evening I'm just going to chill out really. My eyebrows need badly doing I was meant to do them actually in my mum's house today because she has the wax pot in her house never got around to it so i might give them a little tweeze also an update on the hair this is it all kind of grown out i don't know if i had it on here straight for a while so i'm just going to give you a little update so as you can see it's all grown out all that like balayage so i'm thinking this weekend at some point whilst i'm away maybe maybe not whilst i'm away because i don't like destroy my grandparents bathroom but i was thinking i'm gonna maybe ask if my nanny can cut because now she used to cut hair well, she used to be a hairdresser when she was younger, I think. Um, she's cut my hair before, I think. But basically, I just want a blunt cut so someone that can actually do it. So I just feel like I want to get this much taken off. And then we can start again. And then I'm going to get this all dyed chocolatey brown. Well, just like my root. So I don't have any maintenance because I can't be bothered with the upkeep of, keep of like blonde hair and balayage. It's just a lot of money to be spending. Whereas I'd rather get my nails done. Even though I can do my nails myself. I'd rather get my nails done on my eyebrows. So yeah hair is just very expensive for what it is and i'm also thinking i'm going to dye my hair extensions so it's something i'm currently considering maybe will do maybe won't but if i'm going to get it short i suppose the extensions aren't going to blend never thought about that but now i just did so we shall see but anyway i'm going to go let the dogs in and i'll catch up with you in a little while see what i'm doing for the evening don't feel like i'm doing much but another bad angle in lighting i don't know what i'm trying to say but yeah, we're just back from a dog walk now. So in total, I got another 1.1 kilometers done, which I'm happy about. Sorry, by the way, if this is like swaying, I've just got you like rested on a tripod on my knee because I couldn't rather get in the big tripod out. Also the room, I'm like trying to go around where it's not messy and <laughs> you can't see the background because this room is just one that I struggle to keep tidy. It's um, the spare room. So everything kind of gets, like we do the washing in here and stuff like that. So. It kind of gets a bit hectic in here. Also, I do my makeup and my hair. So, like, you can imagine. Girls know. Girls, you know, like, what I'm on about. Well, I just leave, like, a trail of destruction behind me when I get ready. Um, But, yeah, I just thought I would pop back on before I head off. Because I want to get all my stuff organised. Because tomorrow is the first time that I'm going to try and go to the gym in the morning. I haven't been in the morning yet. And I was planning on doing it the other day before I went to work. However, I didn't get organised enough that I didn't have a lock for my locker. And just with me having to bring my work laptop and stuff in to the gym because I wouldn't want to leave it in my car. I wouldn't go and just leave it open, like unlocked and close it. I just didn't want to go without a lock. So that is something that I need to get tomorrow. I might be able to get that tomorrow morning. If um the shop beside the gym is open or I can get one in the gym, I think I might be able to buy one in the gym. Um, whether they take card, I don't know. But yeah, so I need to get my stuff laid out for the morning and I'm aiming to get up and to leave the house about 7 so that I'm back for about 8, I'm thinking, whether that'll happen or not. Um, yeah, but if I'm back for 8, I can still chill, have my coffee, have my breakfast and stuff like that. So yeah, I think I'll get up, I think I'll aim for 7 because I do get up at half 6 anyway. So I feel like, get up at half 6, feed the dogs, let them out, 
sort them out and then I'll head off to work about seven. Michael's still here till half seven and then it leaves the dogs on you for another half an hour and then I'm back. So yeah, that's my plan. I feel like hopefully it goes smoothly. The only thing is I've struggled really bad with like blisters on the back of my feet. And I had blister plasters but they fell off so I haven't replaced them. Um, I forgot to buy some new ones actually so I just feel like my feet are going to be sore with the trainers that I have. So I'm kind of hoping that they're going to be okay tomorrow. We shall see. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'm going to wrap this vlog because Michael's downstairs and I can hear me chasing the dogs around. For some reason they get hyper, like really hyper after a walk. So don't know what that's all about. I kind of bring them on a walk to burn some energy but it doesn't seem to work. Um, but yeah, I can just hear them running up and down the hall so i'm gonna go i'm gonna end this here i hope you enjoyed i know it was a really quick vlog it wasn't the longest but yeah i just hope it was okay and i shall suppose see you in my next one thanks for watching as always